guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today we're gonna go through the products that I am picking for my everyday makeup basket for April I think I say this every month but I cannot believe that it's already April I feel like so much has happened in 2018 already and I can't believe that we're almost we're almost halfway through the year like we're we're getting there <laughs> so I've picked out quite a few products we're just gonna go over them right here and I'm gonna go over them hopefully in the order that you apply them to your face I picked a little less products than I normally would because I do have a pan that palette going on and then I also have a finished or drop 10 by summer going on as well so I have like a primer and some more foundations and some other products that I'm focusing on for those projects so these are just other products that I'm either trying to use up or that I really want to focus on or that are new and I really want to continue trying them out so let's start out with the foundation that I am using that is the Chantecai future skin oil free gel foundation I love this foundation it's worked really well for me you get a decent amount of product in here you do get one full ounce of product in here which is standard for foundations and right now it's just working really well with my skin I've been using it for a few weeks I want to keep using it. I've gone through, I want to say, like a fourth of it so far. And I don't have to mix it with anything to match my skin tone right now. It wears well throughout the day. I'm just loving it so far. Next for concealers, I actually finally picked up the ColourPop No Filter Concealer after their latest launch of the extended shade range. I picked up three shades. One is the pure white shade that I want to use to try and lighten up some other concealers that I have that are a little too light for my or a little too dark for my under eyes. I also picked up shades 10 and shade 16. I've heard and seen several reviews where this does oxidize and darken so I did go for some lighter shades. I did swatch them on my hand just to see how much they did darken down. I thought shade 10 would be way too light but it actually dried down to be just like half a shade too light for me right now. Shade 16 looks perfect. It looks a little light at first, but it does darken down to like a normal concealer color for me. So I do want to try these out. I haven't actually worn them on my face yet. I'm excited to try them out. They're going to stay in my basket for this month. Now for powders, I have two powders. First, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10. I am almost done with this. I don't know if you can see right there. It is almost done. I really want to finish up a full loose powder. I'm having a lot of trouble removing like the sifter from the like from right here. I think that's the only way I'm going to get out the rest of the product in here because I keep shaking stuff out and not nearly like enough product comes out that I want it to. But I'm going to keep this in my everyday basket and try to finish it up by the end of April. The next powder that I have is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. I do have a lot of pan in here. I was hoping that I would use it up by now, but I've seen a few other products that have been, you know, grabbing my attention a little bit more. So I haven't been using this one as often since I hit pan. I really want to finish this one up. I think it would be really exciting to use up a full hourglass powder. So that is my goal for this month. I want to finish up this entire powder. Next, I have a bronzer and a blush from Benefit. And they're both these smaller, like mini sizes I got from a sample kit that they have out. First is the Hoola Light right here. I tried out the Hoola and absolutely hated it. It pulled way too orange on me. It looked horrible. So I'm hoping that the Hoola Light works a little bit better with my skin tone. It does look really light, like almost just a shade darker than my skin tone, but I haven't tried this on my face yet, so I do want to use this month to try it out and get a feel for it. The blush that I have is the Rockateur blush, and it's a really nice, like, soft, salmon-y blush. I haven't tried this on my face. Again, I do want to try out their formula, see how it works for me, but this is the shade that I was drawn to most, and it does look matte. I'm not a huge fan of shimmery blushes at the moment, so I was drawn more towards this matte shade. Let me just swatch it real quick. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going for. So, excited to try this out and see what I think about it. I do have quite a few brow products. My favorite combination for my brows right now that I've been using has been the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown with the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Deep. I use the dip brow to really carve out my tail and fill in a little bit underneath the brow and then I set it all and fill in a little bit more with the brow tint. 
I've been loving them together. They last throughout my entire day. I have to like scrub it off at the end of the night and they just look so well together. So I'm loving this combination. And then after the brow tint dries down, just for added protection, I will go in with the ABH Clear Brow Gel. It just holds everything in place. It's like super glue for your brows. I love this stuff. And I'm almost, I think I'm, I've had this for a while. I think I'm almost running out. I probably will pick up another one of these during the Sephora sale. And I do have a video about my recommendations and what I'm going to be picking up during the Sephora sale. So keep an eye out for that. And if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and do that before you leave today. I have two mascaras that I want to use this month. And one of them is a real surprise for me. And that is the Chantecai, what is this actually called? The Faux Sils? Oh, I, I butchered that. The Faux Sils Longest Lash Mascara in Black. I didn't actually buy this. I bought the Chantecai foundation and a concealer. And then once you bought those at the store, they actually gave you a huge like sample pack of a bunch of their products. And this was one of them. I thought it was a little bit gimmicky with like the lash serum being inside the mascara and whatnot, but... I found myself really liking this mascara and I'm actually a bit upset that I do because this is this is an $80 mascara. $80. I'm actually like gonna come out with a video soon about products that I'm like upset that I really liked and this is going to be one of them. <laughs> But I'm actually really liking this. I've been using it for a couple of weeks as well. I want to continue to use it up and see if I actually want to buy the full size. We'll see. The other mascara that I have is the Wet n Wild Mega Length. I bought this entirely on the recommendation of the Taylor. She recommended this for your lower lashes and she was 100% right. It works amazingly. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't smudge, and it lasts throughout the day. It's the only thing I will let touch my lower lashes. And last but not least, the lip product that I would like to use up this month, or not use up, but I want to use more of, is the Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle Lipstick in Griselda. This is a little mini I got as a point perk from Sephora, but it's just this beautiful, like, deep, almost, like, brown, like, rich mahogany color. I found myself, even though it's spring, reaching more for, like, these vampy-looking lips, and I haven't tried out this color yet, and I really want to get some use out of it. And the packaging is just adorable. Look at that. I love it. So that is everything in my everyday makeup basket for the month of April. Don't forget to like this video if you like seeing everyday makeup baskets and you want to catch any more in the future. I'll go ahead and link the playlist of all of my monthly makeup baskets. I started in January, so there's four videos in the playlist now if you would like to go and catch the rest of those as well. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!